I am a biophysicist. We develop imaging methods to study biological systems. I'm a visual person, so uh, I really like using this way of direct visualization to make discoveries. Inside the cell, there are many structures that are comparable to or smaller than the diffraction-limited resolution. That means if you look at these structures under the microscopes, they look like a blur. You really cannot resolve the fine details of these structures. STORM is a super-resolution imaging method, and it overcomes the diffraction limit and allow us to image with molecular scale resolution. One of the structures that we discovered in neurons is this gorgeous structure which I call MPS, which stands for Membrane-Associated Periodic Skeleton. This is a structure that is really existing pretty much ubiquitously in all neurons. People just missed it before. Then we can just directly see the structure. MERFISH is a genome scale imaging method. My biggest fascination in applying this is for studying brain. When we look into some of these brain regions and then see the individual cells, their location, you know, their organization, it's a pretty sensational feeling, you know. It feels like uh, you're peeking inside the brain, having the cell atlas, knowing what are the cell types that exist there, and then how they're organized and how they function will just expedite our understanding of this very important organ of our body. As a scientist, I find that uh, the most rewarding thing is indeed uh, discovering the unknowns. We continue to develop genome scale imaging methods, and we continue to use MERFISH and STORM to study biological systems, and our focus is in neuroscience. I'm truly grateful to Anne Lurie and the Foundation for the National Institutes of Health for setting up this prize to honor scientists. And I think it's their vision too, to not only honor advisors, but also honor graduate students and postdocs. This prize not only recognizes the achievements we've made in the past, but more importantly, uh, it also encourages us to continue to work hard to develop more powerful methods and make more scientific discoveries to help advance science and medicine.